right now. This is ABC Montana, local news at 10. Your local news leader. And good evening, Montana. Thank you for joining us. I'm Dan Court. Some may say this is the unofficial start to high school football season as the 69th East West Shrine game taking place tonight in Great Falls. Some of the best players in the state who just graduated getting one more opportunity to play in Montana's elite football all star game. The East wearing yellow, the West in red game going out to the Shriners Hospital for Children in Spokane. Great cause. Defense setting the tone early though. Casey Claybo of Billings West sacked for a 10 yard Lost by Helena linebacker Isaiah Check leading the way. A corral of West defenders getting in there. East defense would do one better. Glacier's Brady McChesney intercepted by Billings seniors Jake Clark. Reservations to, for six takes it all the way. East getting in front early 7 0 lead in defense. The name of the early part. Claybo is going to drop back out of the gun. Chop up top for Reed Nelson, but Nick Rigg of Helena Capital coming to the ball. Heck of a defensive play, but West unable to convert it into points struggling in the first half. East with it now, Fairfield's Dalton Palmer effective running the ball like QB, getting a big gain of 30 plus yards there. West had trouble stopping Palmer in the option read all first half later in the drive. Holden Ryan, just a beast. The Grizz commit out of Billings Central, powers his way into the end zone for six. 19-0 East, West coming back. Dalton Dam ran the second half kickoff back for a touchdown lead 19-14 East late in the fourth quarter. We sit less than two weeks away from the State Legion Baseball Tournament and in AA the Missoula Mavs sit in fourth place but with great opportunities as they have a three game set with first place Lethbridge starting Sunday. First though, they had a test as they were in the Electric City for a meeting with the Great Falls Chargers. The Mavs looking to stay in the top half of the double A standings. Things not looking good early on. Matt Garcia with the rip to left field. Wyatt Bleskin's going to get waved around. Don't! Slips and falls, but he gets up. He's able to score easily. Don't worry, Chargers on the board first, 1-0. Mavs would answer in the next inning. Kip Vito grounds one to short. The runner from third able to come in and score. Mavs getting two in the second, take a 2-1 lead. Then the Chargers exploding in the bottom half. Jake Fisher singles out to center, brings in a run. And then Jake Lowry now at the plate. And he's going to smash a hanging breaking ball to left. Isaiah Roberts scores easily. Chargers led it 5-2 after two. But the Chargers only two wins in conference. They'll stay there. The Mavs winning this one 15 to 9. Beautiful day for baseball in Three Forks. The Gallatin Valley Outlaws hosting the Helena Reps in the third. Outlaws Connor Linzo knocks one to left field. It will fall for a base hit. Jake Willard scores from third. Outlaws up 5 to 3 at this point. In the fourth, Colin Sassano grounds it through the middle. Mark it as an RBI single. The Reps, though, still down 6 to 4. Jump to the sixth. Talon Bouchard slaps it through the left side with runners on. We got a play at the plate coming, but Eamon Byrne beats the throw. Game is now tied at six. Bottom of the half of the inning, though. Linzo back to work. Liner to left. Willard, motoring. Come on down. He scores from second. Outlaws win game one, 11 10. Wind slightly blowing out to right for game two between the Outlaws and the Reps. First inning, Outlaws Jake Willard. Lines a shot down the right field line. Brock Bitterman will score on the play, but the reps holding on to a 2-1 lead. Later in the inning, Jared Pruitt cranks it to deep left, and this is going to go all the way to the wall. Connor Linzo scoring easily, ties the game at two apiece. From there, Kellen Elder, he was good though, gets the backwards K to end the second and the threat. That helped the bats. Tristan Seeger sends one to center, and this is going to end up dropping as it's going to hit off his glove in center field. Brett Jacobs, or not far behind, he'll score as well. Reps take game two, eight to six. Pioneer League action, the Osprey down in Ogden taking on South Division foe Ogden Raptors. This game's still in progress. The Osprey were leading 6-5 in the seventh inning and had a runner on second with no one out. The story right now for the O's is Isan Diaz, who went yard twice, a solo shot in the third to get him on the board, and then in the sixth, a three-run bomb that put the Osprey up 6-5. Bo Takahashi only pitching four and two-thirds of an inning, but did strike out six, and the bullpen has kept the Raptors off the board since. These two will play again at 4 p.m. tomorrow, and we will have tonight's final on the ABC Fox Montana Facebook page. 
And before we go, the Belgrade Bandits defeating the Dillon Cubs today 14-3. That's it for sports. Meteorologist Adam Coslin has a look at your forecast on the other side of the break.